Hi, I'm Julia, and today I'm joined by one of my most favorite people, Melinda Pesnick. I've known Melinda as a mother, as a community activist, as a philanthropist. Now I get to say I know her as a winemaker. So tell us about this new exciting venture. Well, it's very exciting for our family. Um, we just did it as a hobby um, on the property that we bought up north in the Verde Valley. And we, it was an original ranch, and so we wanted to do something interesting with the land, something pretty. And my husband talked us all into putting in the first um, vineyards and met with Eric Glomsky, who's, the, who's just a rock star with the winemaking. And he's uh, has Page Spring Cellars, and he helped with Arizona Stronghold and a few. But with his um, winemaking magic, he is the one that produces and bottles for us. Um, and it just became such a great product that our friends were begging for it. So we went through the process um, and started selling it. We have the name Stage Stop Vineyards because we do have an original Stage Stop on the property. Um, and we wanted to pay homage to those travelers coming in and wanting a respite from the heat and maybe refreshing themselves with something. I love it. So, yeah, so tied in. Absolutely. Now, talk about where right now as it stands people in the valley can get your wine because I know it's really hard I mean this is a, a has an incredible demand um, we were talking earlier you've gotten some great reviews already very early on which is tough to do right so where would we get to find this well uh, right now we're at um, a few different restaurants and you can check on our website but the biggest shout out I'd like to give to is Beckett's Table uh, they were our, the first to believe in us and tasted it. And the, the thing is, when the restaurants taste it or when the people taste it, they really want it. So, and because it's local and it's locally grown, but Beckett's Table is on their ninth case in just a few months. Fabulous. Um, and then Tarbell's, I believe he's selling it by the glass. So if you need to, to go and have a refreshing glass in the evening. He did a great write-up for us, so thanks to Mark. That's exciting. Appreciate him. That's yeah. exciting. So as we move forward, talk about the Verde Valley. Because this is a really interesting part of our state. I know Cochise County has, has attracted a lot of attention, but right now Verde Valley is really picking up speed, and you guys are smack dab in the middle of that. Right, right. We, um, when we bought the property, there were no vineyards around anywhere, and all you know, you drive up there, and it's the Page Springs area, so it's um, dry and arid, and it's about 3,000 foot elevation. And yeah, it seems like everybody is into to making wines because of the, the, the soil and it's just producing the greatest wine. Um, there's a Yavapai College up there is now started the only um, Ventnor um, education. They have like a separate building that they're doing up there and it's just, uh, it's just fantastic. Um, the wine industry is really booming and it's just because people believe they want to be farmers, which is all that it is, you know, it's just farming and it produces a great product and then you say okay let's sell it this is great and so it's just sort of luck and mother earth coming together with the vine work. and a lot of hard work and it's just a great product so it's fun well good for you we're really excited that you came in today and it's going to be a lot of fun to see how this moves forward and uh, we wish you a lot of luck thank and you we look forward to having you come back and talk even more about it yes thank you